This is Electric Universe size. And today, I got a special package in the mail. UVC ozone germicidal lamp, 185 nanometer bulb, watts 25, voltage 110, all the way from Guangdong, China. Warning, before we go any further, UVC could damage the human eye and skin. While in use, please avoid to observe it with the naked eye or avoid to irradiate the exposed skin directly. This is a 25 watt 110 volt germicidal bulb. The UV frequency kills all the bacteria and viruses, takes away all the smells, but you can't be in the room with it. That 185 nanometer bulb frequency, keep in mind the 222 nanometer far UVC is the one that will still kill bacteria and viruses without penetrating the human skin cells and it also will not penetrate the tear layer like this frequency bulb will. So, before I open that up, I wanted to show you something else. We got these packages of 3M multi-gas vapor cartridges. All right, and I ordered this to try to uh, see if I can cleanse my laboratory first. It's gonna be the first test, and then if so, uh, I heard I can use this in the car or in the home, in certain rooms, to sterilize and deep clean rooms. So with the ozone, that actually takes the oxygen molecules and you'll now have three oxygen molecules. I hear that you can smell the ozone. So after waiting roughly an hour of having the light on, you need to turn it off and wait at least 35 to 45 minutes for the ozone shed a molecule and go back to O2 oxygen. So this is one of my protective masks that I that I use when I'm doing my experiments. Uh, it also will protect about 95% of the things that can go through this mask. That's why they call it an N95. This isn't good enough though. It's good to have. It, it will help, but that's only 95%. This is a really cool mask by 3M. This mask will protect against organic vapors. I ordered multi-gas vapor cartridge. It's a P100 filter. These cartridges are only NIOSH approved for respiratory protection against certain airborne contaminants. When used with the 3M face piece 6000, 7000, or FF400 series. NIOSH approved for use against certain organic vapors. Sulfur dioxide, hydrogen chloride, chlorine, ammonia, methylamine, formaldehyde, or chlorine dioxide or hydrogen fluoride or hydrogen sulfide and particulates when used with the face pieces and adapters as stated above. These are really good uh, in the construction industry with anyone painting, using any kind of stripping solvents, gaseous situations. This is awesome for guys that have to put on the full protective suit and do spray foam. They make one of these that's a full face mask and it's, it's got a nice shield that goes all the way around. So anyhow, I'm going to put these guys on and check it out. It's pink. <laughs> it's uh, definitely gonna get someone's attention. Like, what the heck is going on here, man? All right, let's put that guy on. That's how you can replace the inside pads. You can order these, these replacements here. So it's got two layers. And you can just twist this down, pop it off. All right, here's our replacement P100. Six oh nine two six. Just twist it on like that. So that's the regular one that comes with it. It's just organic vapors. This is the replacement. That is a multi-gas vapor cartridge. That also includes organic vapors. So it definitely would pr protect you much better in a situation of uh, you know, being in a, a medical environment or if you're doing construction work, things like that. So, all right, just wanted to show you that. Ooh, comes off just like that. All right, so that's what the inside looks like. 
All right, there you go. Well, that'll look interesting. Okay, next. All right, check this guy out. All right, here we go. So I paid about 55 bucks for this. Cool, I like those coils. That looks like it gets bright. So it looks like it's actually going to spark gap. That's really cool. Eye and skin, UV, avoid. Ozone, UVC. 25 watt, 110 volt. So again, same reason you don't want to stay in the sun too long. Uh, this would be like standing a lot closer to the sun. Uh, you cannot look at this with your bare eyes or it will burn your eye past the tear layer. It doesn't feel good. You can heal from it, but it's really bad for you. It's gonna make you feel like you've got sand in your eyes. I heard it's very uncomfortable. You know, I had LASIK uh, and I know the feeling. I have lasers in my eyes. Uh, much different than this experience, I think. It wasn't actually a bad experience at all. Speaking of that, here's actually the glasses that I got from that experience. I had to wear them for two weeks. So I'll put these on. These are UV 400 rating. All right, and this is gonna be what I put this guy in. That way I can turn it off simply by hitting a switch here like this. Hmm. All right, so let's take this guy out. It's just a regular socket. Again, do not put these guys in your house without knowing what they are. And you have to tell everybody about what this is if this is going to be in your home. Because you do not want anybody to accidentally turn this on or run it and look at it or be in the same room while this is on and they need to steer clear for up to a, a good hour, 35 minutes to an hour, depending on how long you run this bowl. In here. All right. Okay, we're gonna try it out. Let's see what happens. Okay, Whew. I had my goggles on and my new mask on and I shouldn't be in this room at all. That's why I turned it on for just a second. Uh, I definitely smell the smell of ozone that they're talking about. So I'm going to leave this in here and leave the room. And I'll come back in an hour and then uh, turn it off and then leave it alone for another hour. Uh, and again, don't ever look at the light and don't be in the room. Okay, it's okay just for a second. Just try to avoid it if you can. Okay, I'm going to leave this on and leave you alone for a while. If anything exciting happens, I'll let you know.
All right, we're going in. Don't look at it. Even though I got these goggles on, I still don't want to look at it. I'm not going to risk it. Let me ch Ooh, I can smell the ozone through this mask. That's how terrible it is. Holy moly. I'm not looking at it. I'm just putting my phone up there. All right, we're killing it. All right, let's get a look at it on the camera. Oh. Wow, so I definitely smelled it and I could feel it on my skin. It's not something you want to be in. Again, normal UVC light is not safe to be in and you absolutely should not look at it. 